I have tried my best to go through your previous videos, but couldn't find one on running fecal egg counts. What? I know that's one of your favorite <laughs> topics. And what to do with the results. There are so many opinions out there on deworming schedules and running those egg counts. What do you suggest? I have a new retired off the track standard bread that has an IDEX McMaster's fecal egg count of 700. Hi, Shedder. She was dewormed with one dose of Panicure because the records I received with her indicated her previous deworming eight weeks prior was with ivermectin. I see some suggest running another fecal egg count in 14 days after deworming, and some say wait eight weeks. She says, help with lots of exclamation points. <laughs> and understandably, because there is a lot out there for not really, opinions. Not really. So I got to put this down because I need both hands. This is, I know, it's your favorite topic. I'm so I'm going to try to stand <laughs> my stool. And what's the time? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it, there's not really a lot of, well, there's a lot of opinions yes. out there. Yes. But not a lot of, um, there's really only a cup, one, like one, I mean, there's only one way to do this. Okay. So the, there's lots of opinions, but one, Correct one. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so the the point of a fecal, which a fecal egg count, maybe you could call it, is to identify just exactly what she did. Is your horse a high shedder, so above 500? Which this one is. 700, or a low shedder. Mm -hmm. So it could be zero to 500. Um, once you know that, then you can sit back and have your pina coladas. You're done, <laughs> because because now you say, all right, I've got a low shedder. My horse is not contaminating the facility with parasite eggs. Mm -hmm. And so I only have to deworm that horse probably twice a year, beginning of the grazing season in, in our area, northern climates, the spring, and the end of the grazing season, the fall. Mm -hmm. Done. You know? You're off the hook. You're off the hook. If you have a high shedder like yours, you're on the hook <laughs> uh, because you need to deworm at the end of every egg reappearance period. <gasps> okay, don't be alarmed. We're gonna we're gonna explain this. When you give a dewormer, you are killing the adult egg laying worms. Okay. Yep. And then the horse that day reinfests itself with parasites, but in egg form, and that has to become it has to hatch. It has to make the couple larval stages. And finally, it becomes an adult. Mm -hmm. It's like the cycle, the, of the, the life cycle of the worm. That time until it, you have an adult again that's laying eggs is the egg reappearance period. Okay. okay. So s the reason the egg reappearance period differs from chemical class, she mentioned ivermectin. Yes. Egg reappearance period about two months. Mm -hmm. um, she mentioned Panicure, which is yep. a, a benzimidazole and specifically fenbendazole egg reappearance period about one month. The reason they're different is because the different classes n don't just kill the adult, and ivermectin kills back a larval stage or two. Mm, so it okay. takes longer to get to the adult egg laying stage. Okay. Okay, are you yep, with me? I'm with you. Good, good, okay. all right. All right, so amoxidectin, which is right now is known as Quest, it has a, a egg reappearance period of about Three, three months or almost 90 days mm -hmm. because it kills even farther back. It can get the insisted, insisted small strongels. Those are the ones that are embedded in the wall. Okay. Yeah, so it has a long, it takes, it, it kills the, the most stages, baby stages, yep. and then it three months. So some of the reason we're seeing some of this confusion is based on like the dewormer she's using, it's hitting different life cycles and taking longer to, yes. to make another. Yes. So that's why we, we're seeing that eight right, weeks, four, right. okay. Because all horses have parasites. We're not gonna completely rid them of parasites. Mm -hmm. so we don't want to. Because there's an immune component that we need them to see parasites so that their body knows to fight them off. That like parasites are not normal. They shouldn't be living here. Let's set up a reaction. But what we don't want to do is infest the facility so that they're always recontaminating themselves. And the way you do that is especially with the high shedders, you give them a, a dewormer, and then you give them another one before there's an adult laying eggs again. Mm. So you've got a high shedder, but now that you know that, instead of just the low shedder gets the spring and the fall, the high shedder might get um, April and June and maybe July and then maybe September, lots more deworming. More frequently, yes. Yeah, because you're trying to keep that horse, that high shedder, from shedding all over the property. 
Okay. But so here she also wants to know though, how to, when to do that next fecal egg count. Okay, so egg root pH period is one of them. Yep. So if you give an ivermectin, you give the next one in two months. Mm -hmm. If you give a Panicare, you give it in one month. Okay. If you give a, a Strongit, a Pyrantal, you give it in about six weeks. Okay. Okay. This is more to do with, that's one, that's one method. The other method is, what if your dewormer didn't work at all? Mm. What if you gave it and the worms are resistant? Because that's why we're putting so much thought and effort into this now, because the worms have outwitted us and they're resistant to our, to our, they're foiling. They're smarter than they're we s think. They're, <laughs> they're smarter than us, is what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> it's probably smarter true. than me. <laughs> well, smarter than me too. So what you do is you, you take a fecal, you get a number, and then you give a dewormer. And then in 10 to 14 days, you redo the fecal. Because you want to ideally see that number de decrease. Yeah, and there's a formula that your veterinarian can use and tell you if it decreased enough. Okay. And it's different for every chemical class. If it did not decrease enough, then don't bother using that dewormer class again because the worms are laughing at you and nobody <laughs> likes to be laughed at. Um, just throw it away and scratch it off the catalogs and, and then you have less choices to go to and that's the other reason mm -hmm. we have less and less choices that work in our horses so let's use the ones that work and not overuse them mm -hmm. so so if an ivermectin works don't give it every month or every other month year round mm -hmm. because you're overusing it you're and the more times you show it to the worms it builds up resistance yeah they learn it and they're like the next time they're like I've seen this one before. <laughs> I know exactly what to do to avoid getting killed by it. Okay. So I think this also kind of brings up another point, though. A lot of people will do fecal egg count, and then they might get to see the number lower, or they make it like a zero, and then therefore they think they've like fixed the problem and they don't have to worry about it anymore. But that's not necessarily the case. No. Like I said, horses always have worms. Yeah. We're never going to rid them of worms. Okay. That's not the goal. The goal is to reduce the contamination on the property so that you're stepping on less parasite eggs as you're walking and the horse is taking in less and so you deworm during the grazing season because that's when the eggs can hatch and become infective mm -hmm. not during the not grazing season so mm -hmm. it, for us it's winter yes in the southern states it's summer when mm -hmm. it's hot the eggs aren't hatching um, so there's there's no point in year-round deworming okay because you're just creating resistance Okay. I'm actually super impressed that you answered that in such a short period of time. <laughs> I, it's one of her favorite topics. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I love that. So it sounds like we now know her horse is a high shedder. Mm -hmm. We sound like we now have a pl uh, plan for her to set up that she's now going to be someone who has to be a little more frequent with her mm -hmm. deworming schedule. Mm -hmm. she, unfortunately, you do not get off the hook with the, your guy. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like now we now understand when to do the fecals and all that based on the dewormer that she is giving. Yeah. There you go. Easy. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> so many opinions. It's, I know. So many opinions. One is right.